Every reader agrees with the fact that movie adaptations of books are barely up to the mark. So to prove this claim, in today's video, we are going to list the 15 most terrible book to movie adaptations ever. Stay with us till the end to find your nightmare. And let's get started. Number 15, The Hobbit Trilogy. Peter Jackson did a great job with the Lord of the Rings movies. Things got a little shaky when it came to The Hobbit. They thought it would be a great idea to make The Hobbit into three movies, even though it's just one book. They added plots and people that were not in the original book to fill it up. And it seems like they tried to make a cute short story into a big tale, but it didn't work out right. Each scene seemed to try to make you think of the epic series, but it didn't improve the experience. Instead, it made things feel a bit chaotic and out of sync. Number 14, A Wrinkle in Time. Like the book, the 2018 movie Artemis Fowl was not quite what it set out to be. The personalities and the magic of the first book were taken away. In the book, the misses were smart and interesting, but in the movie, they were just plain dull. The movie didn't show how charming they were, instead it made them seem flat. It felt that the plot was all over the place because the movie didn't follow the book's plot at all. It was not an exciting trip. It was full of flashy CGI that looked cool but didn't do much. Even though the special effects were very impressive, they couldn't make up for the weak and boring plot. Number 13, The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. This came out around the same time as The Hunger Games and The Maze Runner, which are both movies based on popular young adult books. But City of Bones didn't do as well as these other movies and was quickly forgotten. The movie was not quite as magical as the popular urban fantasy book series by Cassandra Clare that it was based on. Big plans were made to make the books into a movie series, but those plans fell through. The movie did not do a good job of bringing the quirky details and charm of the book to life. Number 12, The Girl on the Train. When it came out in 2016, The Girl on the Train seemed like an attempt to repeat the huge success of Gone Girl. The movie, which is based on Paula Hawkins' book, stars Emily Blunt as a drunk divorcee who can't find work and spends her days thinking about her ex-husband. During one of her sleep episodes, she gets involved in a murder and that makes things worse. Hawkins' book was a big hit because it had a lot of unexpected turns and exciting parts. However, the movie didn't do enough to show how the characters changed over time, and the story twists were too predictable and hard to follow. Number 11, Aragon. Harry Potter was such a big hit in the 2000s that many books were turned into movies that were magic stories. Aragon came out in 2006. According to Christopher Paolini, it was based on the first book in his series called The Inheritance Cycle. The books with their dragons and evil kings were very famous, so the movie got nominated for two Saturn Awards even though fans didn't like it. A lot of fans were let down because the acting was not very good and the story and characters were changed in ways that fans didn't like. Number 10, The Golden Compass. People love Philip Pullman's His Dark Material series because it tells such a complex story. It's called young adult fiction, but the world it takes place in and the deep religious themes make it more like epic fantasy. People like how deep it is, but religious groups have criticized the books for having ideas that are against religion even before Hollywood got involved. The first book, The Golden Compass, was made into a movie in 2007. Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig were among the many famous people who were in it, which should have made it a hit. But the movie was not quite what people were hoping for. It looked a bit jumbled and had some confusing CGI. It also didn't do a great job of capturing the anti-religious undertones of the book, which was important to the story. The movie did okay at the box office, but it wasn't able to make Pullman's complicated story into a hit. Number 9, Paper Towns. After The Fault in Our Stars became a huge hit, John Green was on fire and everyone was talking about his next movie. Here comes Paper Towns, a book about coming of age that is full of deep thoughts and important topics like suicide. But the movie went in a completely different direction from the important parts of the book. It became a fun high school adventure instead. The movie lost some of the book's power when it went from dark and serious to light and fun. People who were hoping for the book with a lot of emotional depth were a little let down. Number 8, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. A lot of people used to know and love Tim Burton because of movies like Big Fish and Corpse Bride, but the movie version of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children he made was not quite good enough. For fans of the book, it was not very good, even though it had Burton's usual style. Fans were very upset that the movie made some strange changes, like switching the special powers of the characters. The movie didn't have the same charm as the book and didn't do well at the box office. Number 7, The Scarlet Letter. This famous book, The Scarlet Letter, which is about a woman who has a baby without being married and feels terrible about it. In American writing, it's a big deal because it takes a deep look at cheating and the problems women face. 
But boy, did the 1995 movie version fall short. It changed the strong story into a weak, erotic thriller instead, as planned. Some reviewers didn't like it because it wasn't serious like the book. It was instead pretty light. Number 6, Divergent Series, Allegiant. It was not until after The Hunter Games that the Divergent movies came out. The first two movies were good based on Veronica Roth's series, but fans didn't like how the third movie, Allegiant, stuck to the book. Bad CGI made things worse and the fast job didn't help. They didn't make the last planned movie because the first one did so badly. These people seemed to have a big plan, but it fell apart in a very messy way. Number 5. David Lynch's Dune Dune by Frank Herbert is a famous science fiction book known for its deep themes and worlds that are full of rich details. These ideas came from Herbert's studies of religion and philosophy. People thought Dune was too hard to turn into a movie for a long time. This was taken on by David Lynch in 1984. Now Lynch is a director known for his crazy and imaginative style. Everyone thought that Lynch would finally bring Dune to the big screen in a way that fit its epic, trippy feel. Lynch's skill at making images that look like they came from another world seemed like the perfect fit for the novel's complicated and strange world. However, it turned out to be very hard to fit such a big story into a single movie. So the strange and weird style of the movie didn't quite hit the mark with viewers. Lynch's idea was certainly brave, but it didn't fully capture the depth of the book. So the movie was exciting, but it was not as magical as Herbert's epic tale. Number 4. The Dark Tower When making a movie from a book, things can quickly go wrong if the movie strays too far from what made the book great. And this is what happened with Nicolas Orsel's version of Stephen King's The Dark Tower. This movie tried to fit the great story from eight books into one movie. Even worse, it tried to get a PG-13 rating, which took away all the essence of the story. The movie didn't have the magic that fans were hoping for, even though it did have stars like Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba. Even though it had a lot of big names in it, the movie didn't quite live up to expectations for anyone. Number 3. Artemis Fowl When the movie of this book finally came out in 2020, it was not as good as people had hoped. The movie put together so many different parts of the story that it barely looked like the books. Artemis Fowl, who was supposed to be a super smart kid, turned out to look pretty normal. The movie didn't have any of the smart turns or exciting details that made the book great. Some people even said it was one of the worst dream movies ever for young adults. Number 2. Percy Jackson 1 and 2 The first Percy Jackson movie was directed by Chris Columbus, who had already worked on two Harry Potter movies, and this made things even more exciting. Fans were let down, even though the movies did pretty well at the box office. A lot of the things that people liked about the books were taken away in the movies. Some characters were made older than they were in the books, which messed up their relationships. Also, Luke was made the bad guy too soon, and it didn't get better with the second movie, and there were no plans for any more. And number 1. Ender's Game Many people were moved by the sci-fi book Ender's Game, which showed how cruel war can be. The plot's about smart kids who are chosen by the military to train for a big space war and are put in charge of battleship groups. Ender, the main character, has a hard time dealing with his guilt and the mental scars that his events have left him with. But the movie didn't get the main point of the book when it came out in 2013. This movie changed from being about Ender's inner turmoil to being about a cold child genius who is great at war and doesn't think twice about destroying large areas of land. Even though Viola Davis and Harrison Ford were in the movie, they didn't do much and the story didn't feel very strong. So which of these movies did you hate the most? Share with us in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.